so we finally end tonight with TNA Impact. But first. There you go. Welcome, guys, to my TNA, my first TNA review since August 18th, I think. Welcome to Boundful Glory Review. Tonight's show was great, and the reason why I'm doing this review is because uh, people on Twitter actually voted for me to do it. I actually uh, tweeted it. I tweeted uh, saying, should I do a review in a poll? And you guys, 54% uh, percent of you were like, yeah, and 47% uh, percent of you like nah so I'm like you know what all right so the 54 percent won so I'm gonna do it um yeah tonight's show man it felt weird it's my Ill uh, to me I can't I couldn't really handle it properly because it's my first TNA pay-per-view in so long or my first no this is actually my first TNA pay-per-view I've ever watched but um this is my first um TNA like like watching TNA product like on like on on TV like everyone else but not on TV I watch it on my laptop but you know what I mean watching it at the same time as everyone else is you know it, it, it was weird I was like okay I'm not used to this you know normally when it's WWE I'll pay attention I was paying attention a little bit um just that I wanted to wait till the end I read, and like just let the beginning go but like yeah tonight's show was easily easily better than Monday Night Raw this past Monday night, I'll tell you that much. Um, all I can say is Lashley is still the World Heavyweight Champion. I, don't, uh, mm, I wanted my boy EC3 to get that championship one more time, but you know what? Lashley able to retain the title. Don't worry, it's all good. Lashley will finally fall off his pedestal eventually we're just gonna have to find the right person. So Cody Rhodes, oh sorry, Cody is gonna do what he wants to do in his wish list. He's gonna fight Mike Bennett because he debuted tonight. Cody finally reached the TNA, and I never thought I'd see this shit. I mean, what well, then again? If Dusty Rhodes did it, you know. But then again, um, Cody Rhodes came through. He dropped Mike Bennett like a bad habit. Uh, Maria and Brandy. Brandy looked fantastic. Brandy went up to Maria. She's like, what's good? Talk, talk, you're talking crap to my husband, huh? You said that he's better in WWE than here, huh? Oh, what are you doing, you know? And I didn't get that. Maria saying that, oh, you're better in WWE. First of all, you were in WWE for four years. Four to five years, okay? Relax. Okay, you, you say he's better than WWE. Relax, okay? <laughs> Just relax, okay? Luckily, Maria is better in TNA now than she ever was in WWE. Simple as that. But, um, yeah, Maria got dropped. Bennett got dropped. It was a bad night for Maria and Bennett. But, um, yeah, I didn't watch the first, the beginning of A Bound for Glory because... I'm not about spending a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money anyway, but I'm not about spending money for a pay-per-view that I didn't really care for to begin with, right? So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to chill and just wait for the results and be like, okay, this person won, this person won. But luckily, a friend of mine on Twitter was like, yo, the there's a Twitter, the, uh, sorry, there's a link you can go click on and there'll be a live stream. Of TNA, I'm like, oh shit, I get to watch Bound for Glory for free? Hell yeah. So I clicked on it, and I, I was able to catch it by the Aaron Rex and Eddie Edwards match uh, for the Grand Championship. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Aaron Rex looks terrible. I'm sorry. I I, I don't want to talk about his weight. I mean, for God's sakes, I... <laughs> I guess I should be talking about mine, but you know, I, I the, the match felt lackluster to me. It just felt like it's uh, they're they're doing good in the ring. It's just I don't really care. I was actually expecting them to announce about you know their situation, but uh, Dixie Carter tweeted out saying that um, she 
that um they they have they are able to find money to fund their tapings for the next couple of weeks and fund tonight's show about February. So I'm just sitting there like, okay, so are they gonna announce anything? Is Billy Corgan gonna be the new president? Will Vince McMahon show up? Well, what's gonna happen? What's gonna go on here? You know, but um, I was able to catch the Aaron Rex and Eddie Edwards match. I didn't get how it was supposed to be done. I'm just sitting there like, huh? What? What? <laughs> right? And um, the match didn't end by pinfall or submission. It just ended with, it was basically ended by a countout and. And just by the judges, Aaron Rex is the new champion. Now, I heard boos in the crowd. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, so Aaron Rex is going to turn heel soon, obviously, because the fans, some of them are booing Aaron Rex. I get it. Either it's because, you know, the love for Eddie Edwards. Eddie Edwards has been getting a lot of love ever since Davey Richards got injured and Eddie Edwards was able to go on his own. Um, I don't know where the fuck is Davey Richards at. Like, come on, man. I want the Wolves to get those tag titles again. But then again... If they do try to get those tag titles, they will be deleted, delete, 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 delete. Decay. It's either delete or decay. So, let's see. I get on the live stream. The live stream froze. White Run Web White Run Um Rebby was playing on the piano. I was like, oh shit, the entrance is going to be lit as fuck. Rebby's going to play on the piano. You know, I'm starting to like Rebby now. You know, like earlier this year, I hated this woman. <laughs> but now, it's like, you know what? She she able to find a way for me to turn around and be like, you know what? She's a cool cat, you know? she She's not, she's not a pain in the ass, you know, like I thought she was months ago. You know, no, 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 she, she's awesome. She gained a lot of respect for me when she hit the twist of hate onto, um, uh, what's her name? Rosemary, um, TNA Impact, I believe last week or two weeks ago, but yeah. Um, and then, uh, Rebby had a match against Rosemary on TNA last Thursday, and I'm like, the hell is going on? And Rosemary did a, set, a side effect to, to Rebby through a table. These women, why is the WWE doing this shit? Why is WWE so protective of their women, okay? And I do quotations on that shit because, seriously, WWE need to let their women get a little bit violent, you know? Now, come on. You can't just let them compete in one-on-one -on -one matches and triple threats, fatal four-way, fatal five-way, pack challenges. Come on. No, we need to see some violent shit, I, 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 I Keep it PG standard, but at the same time, let them, you know, kick ass. Don't let them, I mean, like, we're, I mean, they've been doing it for a year and a half, and we're already tired of it. That's not supposed to be happening. TNA, they have kept our interests. Well, my interest with TNA, um, I had my interest with TNA since last year. Um, I regained it. I mean, when he went to Destination America last year, um, that's what I was like, you know what, I'm not going to try to look for TNA, I'm done. Uh, I will, I will watch the YouTube clips, but that's it. And after I finally came around to watch TNA again, and, and now look at me. Look at me now. I, I'm recording. Um, I am just doing a video for a review of Bound for Glory. So, tonight's show, Gail Kim's, uh, Hall of Fame. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it felt a little bit too long, but, you know, uh, well deserved. Well deserved. Um... I saw Awesome Kong and Terry Terrell, Taryn Terrell, I'm like, where are all these people? We need these people. Sienna, Sideshow Bob, and Jade, I love Jade, but still, all these women, it's not enough. We need more, okay? We need more, we need more. Uh, we need people like Awesome Kong and Taryn Terrell. They had their own shit. Taryn Terrell able to have her dollhouse. Awesome Kong was dominant. She was the most dominant knockout in Tina history. All right. So we need something like that. My girl Christy Hemi came back with her ring announcing for the uh, knockouts championship match. That was awesome. Go Kim and her speech. Well deserved. Well deserved. Uh, a Hall of Fame and stuff. And, yeah, there's nothing much I can say about that. The Great War, what can I say? No words can, can like, do this match any justice at all. All I can say is the Broken Hardys 
have finally got the titles. That's what screwed them over and brought us to this feud. Hardy got injured from his dirt bike thing. And now look at this now. Now the World Tag Team Champion one year round. So, yeah. Um, in the World Championship, I wanted EC3 to win. But Lashley able to keep up and retain the title. So now we have to see what's going on in the future of TNA. So that's my, that's my review of TNA, uh, Bound for Glory. Bound for Glory did way better than Raw, like a 6, 6.5 out of 10 for me. What do you guys think about Bound for Glory tonight? If you watched it or you pay, or you do you even care at all, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of Bound for Glory, all right? And, I, and um, yeah, that's it. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe now for more fundamental app, boy 123 gym And there will be a gameplay out tomorrow. I don't know what, but... You'll see you tomorrow. So, yeah, guys, I am out. Five, four, three, two, one. Later.